36 minutes to 8. And it's Morning Report and back to our lead story with senior members of the New Zealand China Council being told there's no room for Dame Jenny Shipley to be reappointed when it undergoes a restructure next month. Let's talk to Simon Bridges, leader of the National Party. He's with me in the Auckland studio. Tēnā koe, good morning to you. Kia ora, Guy. What do you think about this? It looks like um, Dame Jenny is being uh, pushed aside. Yeah, I think we need to know why and that's not entirely clear. I mean, what we know is that Jane, Dame Jenny Shipley has herself um, um, got off a number of pub public roles that she's had in the aftermath of Mainzeal. So that is one thing. The other side of it, though, is, um, you know, if we were to think the worst, we know that Winston Peters has an Alan Fintine uh, memory, and his memories of Dame Jenny Shipley I don't think are good, and so that is there as as well. Well, you, you sort of raise it. I mean, is it is that a, a concrete allegation that you're making? Are you saying that Winston Peters is using his... His personal and political history with Jenny Shipley to, to, to push her out, or are you going when, that far? When has he not? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, we will see. I, I, I do think, you know, uh, there is a serious point here and a wider point for the government that Jacinda Ardern needs to be alive to. And that is that New Zealand First, I think quite famously, has spent a lot of time on personalities and these sort of things. And frankly, not enough time on the well-being of New Zealanders. And I, I worry about cronyism under this government. I mean, I think we have uh, in the Deputy Police, C- Police Commissioner someone who's a very close friend of New Zealand First, Wally Homaha. Uh, we see it in um, uh, Shane Jones interfering in a case uh, before NZTA uh, for Stan Semenov. Um, these are things that are easy to get a government into, but once you have that sort of approach to things where you like this person, you don't like that person, uh, that is a bad and a slippery slope. Okay. So you're going to culture there, really, aren't you? Um, Correct. Let's talk about your own culture, yep. the cultural, the review of culture that you wanted to make sure women were safe in the National Party. Correct. Right? What's happened? Well, you know, I believe National has a strong and a positive culture, but there's no doubt uh, in light of, you know, last year, we can't be complacent about that and we have to be vigilant. So what's happened with the review? And so we have had a health and safety review that has been led by the party. It's gone out and talked with regional leaders, with young Nats uh, and the like. It has now completed its role. But what it is doing is it is waiting now for, I suppose, uh, in a sense, the parallel uh, investigation or review by Parliament so that we are syncing uh, what we do as a party with what the parliamentary okay, so wing, uh, right. in a sense, has to do. OK, so who did this review? Well, it was done by a health and safety uh, expert. I, kn- I who, know who. I'm not who, going to say who. Well, um, ha- hang on. Why not? But Because, look, I don't think there's a, a necessary interest in that. I think well, what we will no, do... No, no, there is. This, this, is a, this is a political party which aspires to be in government that has talked about the importance of culture. Now... Surely you can tell us who did the review. What, what, what I will uh, make very clear is when the uh, uh, Martin review from a Parliament and the Speaker is out, and we have synced those, I believe a summary of what we have decided uh, is in the public interest. Give me going one forward. good reason why the name of the author of the review cannot be made public. Look, look, uh, let's not get hung up on this. I, I think the reality well, no, is... it matters no, because no. It's, it's, is it independent or not? What, absolutely. But so what, who is it? But, but here's the deal, right? We've done an internal uh, review. It is now right to wait and see what Parliament uh, comes back with oh, no, and to are, sync them no, that, and that, we'll be there for that. That, that, doesn't, that. that doesn't follow logically at all. This is a review into the National Party's culture Correct. that you called for Correct. having concerns about whether women were safe in the National Party. The wider issues at Parliament, well, they might be related in some way, but this is for your party, your review. So why can't you put it out? Well, look, I've, I've made my position clear. Um, when we have the review of Parliament completed, I'll, I'll make sure uh, that there is a summary so people can see where things are at. Did they talk to female MPs in the National Party? Uh, well, my understanding is quite clearly uh, uh, female MPs, all members of Parliament, were entitled to go forward. You know, I don't think uh, necessarily uh, MPs avail themselves of that. So, no. 
<laughs> Correct, but I'm also Gee. explaining to you. Well, no, guy, I'm, well, so with the greatest my, respect, okay. well, I, I am well, explaining well, to you as transparently yeah. as I can mm-hmm. what the situation is. Yeah, well, and you're the not situation, doing a great job with your well, transparency, I think, are you? I think okay, I so, am, so, actually. So let's on, just nail no, down. No, let's be clear. This yeah, is not well, a government well, thing. Let's be clear. Let's this, be is clear. A, this is a political party. Yep. that any New Zealander can be a member of and get involved in. I think we have a strong and a positive culture. Yeah, yeah, but, and but we don't want to be... No, no, yeah, it's okay, not just okay. would be. Um, it, actually, it's it's the testament of decades um, both in and out of government. But we've done the review because it was the right thing to okay, do to not all, be complacent about words. it. words. Let's just nail down the facts that we know. You won't tell us who did the review. We've established that. You've told me in a fairly oblique way that no... Women MPs were spoken. I, I to. don't. I, I don't know that for certain, but that seems to be the case. But the point is so this: w- w- if the members point, of the entire parliament, point of your review was to make sure that women were safe in the National Party, and you haven't talked to any no, female MPs. No, it is much broader than that. The National Party is a thirty thousand member political organisation. It is the biggest in New Zealand. It talked with regional leaders. It talked with a bunch of folk, including young Nats, uh, to get a sense of where they thought there were concerns, where they thought we were getting it right. It is reported back, and now we're in the position of waiting for a parliamentary review. Have you seen and it? Then, no, I haven't. And that is because I am waiting now to understand where the parliamentary review goes, and then assess that in light of this report Why as well. haven't you seen it? Because, albeit it's important, it is not something that I am in charge of. The organisation, absolutely, the two things are still true. <laughs> you, you, with the greatest respect, guy, and are making, and I understand why, but you are well, making you, mountains out of molehills when the, well, the I large would have the position of the National Party and the safety of women was actually more than a molehill. Absolutely, hill. and you're getting hung up on minor pedantic procedural yeah, points. Yeah, like who when did the, the report, review and what it says and whether you talk to women. Uh, yeah, and, and those questions, for the most part, will be answered when we have a parliamentary review back from the Speaker and by uh, De- Debbie Martin on what they've done. I think it's right, actually, that we sink where we as a party that is in Parliament, is the biggest party in Parliament and seeks to be government, mm-hmm. is at with both our party organisation but also the members of Parliament. And so, Taiho, let's wait and see where the parliamentary review gets well, are to. Are you wanting to bury it when the when the parliamentary no. review comes out. Why, why would you say that? I well, mean, I just I simply don't I simply don't understand uh, where that's driving at. This is a this is a pretty straightforward situation actually. I called for it. The party is doing it. It's done it. But now we wait. When when the parliamentary review is done, we will put a summary on the table for mm. people to see and assess. Yeah, I, and, and and frankly. That'll be a whole lot more open and transparent than the government, yes. who won't even but, let New Zealanders uh, see a bunch of basic facts in relation to uh, various inquiries that yeah. they've done as government. Yeah. If you do a review into culture, though, and you keep the author secret, aren't you having a culture of secrecy? No, come on. Come on. The, the, the points will be there for everyone to see. I'm simply making the point I mean, that, that it's not worth majoring on the minders of this. What, what is important is the substance of the culture of the National Party. I think it's strong and positive, but we're not complacent about it. And that's why I wanted to see this review, just, and we're doing it. And you have, but you haven't seen it yet, have you? Even no, no, because I'm the leader of a party whose focus as leader is actually about overturning government with bad know, outcomes for New Zealand. You, if, if someone had done a review, and I had called for a review of a place that I worked in, right, I'd want to see what it Because we're not at the point where that's uh, important yet. The point where that becomes uh, relevant is when we've had a review uh, by parliament and then, I assure you, I will sit down and go through those things. But okay. there's a process to follow. All right. We've probably been as far through that as we can, haven't we? Great to talk to you. Yeah, enjoyed it. Thank you for your time this morning. That's Simon Bridges, who's the leader of the National Party, and it's quarter to eight.